Hey ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here for Digital Dojos, and today we're going to be taking a look at widgets in iOS 14. So today at Apple's WWDC conference, they announced the latest iOS 14, and one of the flagship features will actually be the ability to edit the home screen and have widgets on it. Long overdue, and I'm sure all you Android users are definitely accustomed to this. However, it's nice to finally have it coming in iOS 14. That said, here are a list of devices that will support iOS 14, so you have a heads up if your device is gonna be eligible for the upgrade. And then with that, keep in mind that this is the developer beta, so it's not officially out yet for public release. However, I just want to kind of give you an idea how it's gonna look and feel. If you wanna see my full WWDC recap, be sure to check out the link down below, as well as stay tuned for my full iOS 14 tour. All right, so let's jump into it. If you wanna add a widget to the home screen now, you simply hold tap and hold on any blank space it'll bring you to the edit home screen functionality you'll notice now it's a little different you have the minus symbols to remove icons and then the plus symbol in the top right which is for widgets tapping on that you have a preview of the featured widgets here as well as the ability to search for widgets in the very top there as of right now support are just native app apps however as developers get their hands on this obviously and you know widgets that were previously in the spotlight search in previous iOS versions will now, I'm sure, pour it over to this view as well. So you can go ahead and tap on a widget specifically here, in this case, Smart Stack, which will give you a description of what the widget does and show you a preview. And then you have multiple views on some of the widgets. So in this case, you have a compact view or a large view. And if you want to add it, you simply hit the Add Widget button. And just like that, it drops it onto your home screen. Think of them like big icons, depending on the size. In this case, this one takes up eight icon spaces on this device. I can then t uh, drag it here like I would any icon and rearrange it here on my home screen. So I can drop it right there, smack dab in the middle, tap out. And then now the widget is officially placed on my home screen. You can see the smart stack one chooses to automatically rotate through multiple widgets, or you can manually just swipe through. To remove it, you simply tap and hold like you would an icon and then remove the stack. If you tap on the widget in itself, depending on the app it's on, it'll automatically open that specific app. So a quick shortcut, if you will. All right, so that said, let's go ahead and take a look at how other widgets look when you start to drop multiple on a home screen. So it's gonna rearrange the icons again, depending on the widget you pick. So if I chose calendar, for example, and I went for the smaller view here, you can see there, just gonna go ahead and drop it on. And you can see, depending on how you rearrange it, it's gonna snap the other widgets and all your icons in place. And then from there, you can manually drag your icons around to rearrange it how you see fit. Now, tapping and holding, let's go ahead and take a look at some of those other widgets. Like I have the battery ones here, I have the weather ones and notes. There are a lot of other ones native to iOS right now. And like I said, we'll see the full potential of this as developers start adding third-party support. You have, like I said, calendar to see your upcoming events in multiple views, music for Apple Music so you can quickly play music from your home screen and see stuff that you recently played. The news widget has multiple versions because not only is there different sizes, but you have, for example, the ability to get stories on just specific topics if that's what you wanna see. So if I add that, for example, here, I can go ahead and tap and hold on this widget, say edit widget, and then I can choose the specific topic of news that I wanna see for that. So certain widgets that have more depth and you know customized options, you can go ahead and tap and hold them to edit the widget. From there, we have a couple other ones built in. We have reminders, so you can see your reminders list in multiple views. You have podcast, the tips app, which is Apple's just you know for new iOS users. Uh, batteries, which I had on my home screen to get a quick view of your battery life for multiple devices connected to your iPhone. Maps here. And then things like photos, which is a cool like digital library. So it shows you a photo on this given day from another like a year ago or two years ago, depending on your photo library. Uh, and then podcasts for the podcast app. And then shortcuts for your uh, quick automations if you have those set up. Siri suggestions. So this is just kind of like a smart feature. You get apps based on your suggestions or usage patterns. So if you're like in a specific location or you do something a lot, like you set a specific timer, all of that will be recommended to you in Siri suggestions. Stocks for a quick view at your stocks list and or specific symbol. And then lastly, the weather, which I think is one of the most useful ones. So again, multiple widgets here, multiple views. I can tap and add it. And there you have it. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a look at widgets in iOS 14. Like I said, you may be accustomed to this in Spotlight and it's still there. If I swipe to the left here, this is the Spotlight view in iOS 14. It's just now you can add these widgets to your home screen. So hope you enjoyed. 
Be sure to hit that thumbs up like button, subscribe for more content, and stay tuned because we have some more iOS 14 beta features to fully go over. And as always, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks a lot for watching.